Hi, and welcome to Vibes of History, the show that's all about our history's greatest stories. I'm your host, Darius Gosden, and today we're going to be covering the infamous World War II. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably heard about World War II. I mean, it was a very important event in our history, and it's worth remembering. So let's get to it. So World War II was a very, very short war. I mean, you have other wars that were decades, if not centuries long. But World War II lasted six years. It involved many, many countries, including all of the great powers at the time, who started forming alliances with each other and eventually formed two teams, where you had the Allies and the Axis. You could say that the Allies were the good guys and the Axis were the bad guys. Now, for the Allies, the main players were the United States, Great Britain, the Soviet Union and China, and in the Axis, you had Germany, Italy and Japan. It was the largest armed conflict in human history. To this day, there has not been any other conflict that has been this huge and this violent, ever. World War II officially started on the 1st of September in 1939 with Germany's invasion of Poland and it officially ended on the 2nd of September in 1945 when the last Axis member finally surrendered, which was Japan, and this was right after the United States threw two atomic bombs on Japan, forcing them to surrender and ending the war. It is estimated that World War II caused about 60 million casualties, which at the time accounted for 3% of the world population. Now that's a lot, considering one war managed to kill 3% of the world population. How does one do that? Technology advanced so much during World War II. You had all these different countries who would pour millions and millions in research and development, developing new technologies and new weapons, just so they could get a slightly upper hand over their opponents. And from this, you had many technological innovations that came out. A lot of things were made that we still use today. They were made during World War II. The biggest things that I could think of right now would be the pressurized cabin, which originally was meant for the pilots in the fighter jets. And now we use it when we travel. There's always a pressurized cabin so you can move freely and you can breathe freely. Also from World War II, we got the very first computer. Uh, the Germans, they would encrypt all of their messages so no other country could listen and understand their messages. So what the Allies did is they built a computer that was specifically designed to decrypt German messages. And that's how we got the very first computer. And from that, it eventually evolved to the computers that we all have today in our homes. Now, if we're talking about World War II, we also have to mention Hitler. The very infamous Hitler. I mean, you can't talk about World War II without talking about Hitler. He was a very, he played a very important role in World War II. Now, Hitler is very well known for his hatred and his dehumanization of the Jews. This eventually led to the creation of numerous concentration camps that were designed for the sole purpose of capturing Jews, putting them there, torturing, giving them horrible life conditions, and eventually killing them. Out of these concentration camps, there are many, many stories that are just so sad to read and to hear about. I mean, there are survivors who were lucky enough to have escaped concentration camps to live to tell their tale, and what they have to say is not pretty. There are some very inhumane things that happened there, and it's important that we read those things, it's important that we remember those things because it's part of our history and it's part of what made us who we are. And we have to somehow try to learn from those stories and try to learn that these things, it's not the way to, to resolve conflict. Violence is not the way to resolve conflict. So hopefully by reading this, by remembering, we can look forward to a brighter future and hopefully not do these horrible things again. All right, so that was it for the very first episode of Vlogs of History. I really hope you enjoyed and if you did, please leave a thumbs up. It really does help the show. Subscribe if you wanna be notified when episode two comes out. I'm your host, Darius Goslin. It's been a pleasure and I'll see you next Monday.